Good night, good night, good night. Yes, this is your girl, Elegant Chick. Tonight, we're going to talk about religion and denomination, which is one of my favorite topics, I must say. Well, welcome one and all. Please like, share, leave a comment. You know, that's my favorite part. Like, share, leave a comment. And then I really like when you share, 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 share. Okay? Tell a friend, share, tell another friend, and share, of course. Yes. So we're going to talk about some um, religion kind of stuff. Um, who believe in the Bible, who don't believe in the Bible. Um, who think that, yes, you have to go to church in order to serve God. You know? Who think that, okay, um, I don't believe in this kind of um, preaching, teaching, whatever it is. We just want to talk about it. So if it is that you think you want to join my live, type on the board. Just uh, type and I will add you and we can go ahead and just start a reason. However, you know, everybody have their own philosophy <clears throat> and belief towards things. And um, definitely... I would just want to know what it is that you believe in too. Nothing to discriminate. I just want to talk about it. So, yes, we're going to play a little music and keep it a little bit jiggy around here. You know, with jolly in a round. In the meantime, in between time. Yes, it's just having a little vibes. Of course. <clears throat> Hi, Ricardo. I see you watching. Welcome, welcome. Tonight's topic is religion and denomination. You know, I want to ask a little question. You know, you have some people them definitely don't go to church, right? But trust me, they really believe in God. They really do. But then you wouldn't get them step at the church doorway. And so we just want to know what a person would think about somebody like that. That doesn't go to church, but yet still they trust in God. Come on, man. We want to talk about that. Mm, rising up. <coughs> rising up. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain. Yeah, no, I surprised you guys. You didn't know I could sing, don't it? Yeah? Alright. The name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. <clears throat> Rising up. You know something, um, for me. I really and truly, um, I don't look down on people because you have some people whereby you would least expect them to have a high spirit. Meaning, um, you have people in the church that goes to church on a daily basis, but they have never been anointed in any form of way. They've prayed, they've prayed. Oh God, you know, they're asking the Lord, um, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Fill me so I can speak in tongues. Fill me so I could get to do the gift of discernment. You know, um, they never seem to get it. And yet you would find someone, just a simple person out there on the street, who what you just be so amazed that the Lord has built bless them with this gift that someone in the church has been sitting there for 10 years praying for and they just can't seem to get it okay so mm. 
Yes, and, and so, you know, I mean, the Lord does not truth because it is the heart of man that the Lord desire, not the outside appearance. And that's what sometimes we as people refuse to understand, that the Lord doesn't look at the outside appearance and, 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 and just take, take, um, give you a gift just like that. <clears throat> you provide the spirit of a caller. I have someone that wants to join the life. So let me just add the person. Um, add in. I'm adding a person, so let me see if they're coming on. Tonight's topic, we're talking about religion and denomination. Feel free to join my life. Just type on the wall, join, or send a request, and I will definitely be happy to add you so we can talk about it. <clears throat> we're talking about some church people who they would tend to, instead of uplifting a person's spirit or introducing a person to the to the most high God, then they would seem to just criticize you or try to put you down instead of giving you a word of encouragement, you know. And and also, as I said before, you have many persons who are out there in the world. They have an anointing on their life. And you have somebody who would go to church for 10 years and they sit there in church and all they do is waste time, meaning that they would criticize. You have church gossip. You have all of these things because guess what happened? You have some people definitely they go to church and they play church. They play church. You have so many false prophets these days. You don't know who to trust. Not everybody that come in the name saying Lord, Lord, Lord really mean that they're serving God because some people use the Lord name in vain. They don't, they don't, they don't use the Lord name and knowing that, listen, I am a Holy Ghost filled person and I stand for what I, 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 I preach, I, you know, they just use it in vain. Some of them use it to gain money because church business these days are big business. Church business are big business. Meaning that people just sit down there and then play church. No, I'm mean, going mean, to work with them people then. Eh? So feel free to type hard on the wall and you can send me a friend request and I will just had you and let us just reason this is real life reason this is what we do over here we reason on the realest things we don't have time to sugarcoat anything right off the bat let us just talk about it <clears throat> my host tonight is Nadine Moore Bishop Nadine Moore let me let me go back over that my host for tonight, my guest is Bishop Nadine Moore from our church in Jamaica, Touched by an Angel. She will be joining me. We're going to reason about church life. We're going to go into a few topics. And then I'm just going to ask a few questions. And from the question, she's just going to just give it as it is. No sugar coating. But before that, you know, we're just here sitting down and we're talking. So if there's anyone wants to join the live, type add on the wall or you can just send an ad request. I'll be happy to add you. And of course, we're talking about religion. Somebody must have an experience in church. You know how many persons go into church and um, because they don't dress a certain way, then they don't get a certain privilege in order for them to show who they are or what they're anointing is you know we want to talk about persons out there you know you have many persons don't believe in a person who speak in tongues you have some people you have a person who is a discerner they don't believe in a person who is a discerner they think that okay the moment you you can see then listen that is not so but remember in every church there should be an eye to see over the people you know because god he, he gives that. That's a gift. That's an anointing. You know, you have people who speak in tongue and some people just don't like it. And they will say, listen, that is not for me. I don't like it. 
we're talking about churches you have people out there who has a specific church that you should worship some people seven day adventists them say listen i'm gonna worship a seven day adventist i know the true church that uh sunday church i know family church that i'm mean, not good there. and you have revival church where some people say listen i'm mean, not believing at that and you have catholic church where you have many people as a listen men are like catholic church because that are not for me church you have mormons you have many church listen me people no come on me could talk about it me could talk about it we need to talk about it mm -hmm. yes yeah, so we have bishop nadine moore and she is definitely watching i can see her on the wall and she is watching and as i said tonight she is my guest my very special guest Hi, Bishop, I see you over there. Bishop Moore, I see you. Yes, persons, and you can also go over there and follow her on Facebook. That's Bishop Nadine Moore. She has some very positive message. Very powerful bishop. When I say very powerful, she's a very powerful woman of God. Trust me when I say that. Yeah, she don't play church. She don't play church. The moment you are playing church, you have to get out of our church. You're not running no joke. I know her. That's why I can tell you all that. Let me see some other one more at them. Okay. Solid rock. Solid Solid rock, solid, my solid rock. You know, one of the things I hate um, most, you have some people that go in church and then just sit down and play church. Me hate them kind of people and use the Lord name and use it in vain. I don't like it. <clears throat> you know you have many persons out there that don't believe in the bible especially like some rasta man they don't believe in the bible because they feel like it's man right the bible and not not go so so you know them don't even read bible and they burn it out i need someone to talk about that my solid rock come on somebody feel free to send a, a request you just want to talk about something give your opinion like share and comment share 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 do not stop sharing this live for me please send it to a friend and have them send it to another friend i would appreciate that very much please share 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 and feel free to comment tell me what you think let me know what's your belief i need to know what do you believe in if you believe in seven day adventists let me know if you're a catholic person and you think that is the true um way to worship let me know if you're a baptist if you're a pentecostal let me know if you're a revival let me know Feel free to type. Let me know. If you want to talk about it, come on, let us reason. It's my joy. It's my pleasure. I want to reason. Let me add Bishop Moore on. Yes, let me add Bishop on it. Okay, guys. So I'm adding Bishop Moore on the live. Let me see. You are my love. Connecting. Oh, yes. Good night, the fabulous Bishop Moore, Bishop Nadine Moore from Touched by an Angel Church in Jamaica. You are looking so fabulous. How are you? Good night, good night, good night, Sarika. How are you? I am so blessed. Oh, yes, you indeed you look very I am blessed and highly favored. Thank you. You looking smashing your shining from within to outside. 
<laughs> inner beauty, it's glowing on the outside. Praise, Praise him. The it's the grace of God. It's the grace definitely, of God. Definitely, definitely. So I know, I know, Bishop. Just let me tell you first. Bishop Nadine Moore, I know how hard it is to be a child of God. It is difficult. Let me say my, my piece first. It is difficult, and I know it's not an easy role. Whenever time you pick up that cross to carry, the Lord, the thing she's off the life. I may have to go back to had her. Hold on. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened, but let me go ahead and try to have her back again. No. No, yes, Bishop, I'm sorry about that. that yes. Good night, Raquel. I see you. Raquel Powell, good night. Good night, Bishop, once more. Okay, something happened just there. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me well? Can you see yes, me? I can see you, Bishop. I can. Okay, so we're going to reason a little bit about church and then I jump into a few questions. Sure, no problem. Yes. Um, I know that um, carrying the cross can be a heavy load. Before we go any further, can I just utter a word of prayer right now? Bless God. Bless the Lord. Oh, mighty God, tonight as we come in your presence, Heavenly Father, we just ask you to cover us, mighty God. We ask you to intercede in this program right now. We pray, God, tonight that you protect us from every spirit that is not of you. Mighty God up in heaven, let there be intelligent reasoning tonight. Father God, I pray that somebody's eyes be open to the truth. I pray that even by this discussion, Lord, somebody be convicted by your power to receive you, almighty God, as their personal Lord and Savior. I pray tonight that you cover Sirica Spencer from the north, south, east, and west. I pray, Heavenly Father, that your light shine through this program, almighty God, and bring forth success, almighty God. May this program even be used to win souls for your kingdom as we give you thanks mighty god in jesus name amen amen amen, amen. thank you very much for that covering bless the lord bless god yes um sarika you were saying yes bishop you know let me jump into asking you a question first thing you know i i want to know should females cover their head in church? Do you think it's a um, it's a significant um, reason for them to cover their heads in church? Yes, um, the Book of Corinthians teaches that we are to cover our head in the house of God. It's um, it's important, especially when we are praying or whenever we get a message to deliver or when we go out to evangelize yeah. our head must be covered. it is a rule in the bible yes it is very required okay bless god bless but in this era everything is changing a lot of people they say that um it's modern worship yes some people tend to modernize the teachings of the bible to say that that is not relevant and it is okay to pray and not have your head covered it is okay to preach and not have your head covered as women bless god but the word of god stands yes bishop i believe in that even for me tonight my head should be covered while i'm praying yes so i strongly apologize for that yes. but where i am right now there is nothing that i can use to wrap my head properly. And to be honest, um, I think we're here to reason. Yes. Reason in a more reality. Yes, form. yes. That's what we say. What is right, what is wrong, and what is expected. Right. No. Bless the Lord. 
So we're just here on a reasoning basis. Yes, and so I know, definitely, and so I know that you are a bishop. And so I just want to ask you, what's the responsibility abilities of the church? <laughs> yes. I oh, you want oh, bless the name of question. the Lord. Sweetheart? Hmm. You see, there are a few things that I'm going to point out, even with this question. Yes. And I'm sure that I'm going to come under attack. But you see, God loves the truth. And the truth must be told. Yes. Knowing that it was the truth that Jesus came on earth to deliver. Oh, yeah. Is one of the main reasons why he was attacked yeah. by the Romans, by the Pharisees, by the Sadducees. You understand? People don't like the truth. No. But the truth that I have tonight is that the church is changing. The church is changing and the church has lost its vision. I bless God. Strongly, yeah. The vision of the church is for us to show love to all men. Yes. Regardless of race, regardless of color, regardless of status. Yes. Bless God. Praise the Lord. The vision is for us to be fishers of men. Yes. The vision is for the church to bring souls to repentance. Yes. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. The, the vision is that we are to go out there. We are to feed the poor and need, needy. We are to look after people who can't help themselves. Yes. We are to do the, 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 the perfect will of God. But the church is changing. Yes, it is. In the churches today, um, Sirika, most people go to church for different reasons. Yes. You have to understand that in the house of God, not everybody go for God. No. Not everybody go to receive God as their personal Lord and Savior. Not everybody goes to, have, to, to, to learn how to have a connection with God. Mm -hmm. Bless the Lord. Yes. People going to the church to seek partners. Yes. People going to the church to create mischief. Yes. As for some of the prophetic houses like mine, um, people will come to hear other people's business. Yes. I mean, people go in the house of God for different reasons. And this was happening from Bible days. And as the book of Solomon said, there is nothing new under the sun. Everything that happened before is happening now. Bless God. But the, what is happening now is that some people, they are more, what's the word I should use now? Nobody is covering anything up anymore. Yeah. Nobody is being subtle about their mischievous behavior in the church. Yes. People are just showing up. I see churches where people break out in fight over the pastor. Oh, Lord. I mean, baby mothers uh, uh, uh. in war about whose baby not getting enough money from the leader. And it's just the church is. It is just a chaotic groan. Yes. A lot of churches these days are erected for business. Yes. I said that. It is not to fulfill the vision of God. Yes. It is you understand? not anymore. It is for business. Um, some churches just really, some people just open a church as a way to make money. And that is the truth. Yes, it is. There are so many sick people in churches today and there are so many doctors mm -hmm. in the pulpit but yet still the congregation is sick and in need of healing yes. bless the lord yes. it's all about title yes for some churches it's all about making money yes and when they make exactly. money nobody is building a shelter for the homeless no how many churches you see going out there to help the poor and needy how many churches you see trying to feed people that are hungry many not doing it they care about getting a new car you understand um the thing about it is sirika the bible said to each man his own yes um 
people, leaders, you have many false prophets. Oh, yes. You have prophets that are true. Yeah. You have prophets that are genuinely anointed and appointed by God to lead the people. Thank you. Bless the Lord. You said that is. But we are the ones that are undermined. Yeah. We are undermined. We are the ones who, because we may not um drive the Benz and the Bima. Yes. Because we don't um come from a wealthy family. And because we are from humble beginnings, Speak it as it is. and we just do what the Lord says we are to do. Yeah, we speak the truth. It yes. offend the big necks. Let the truth set when, free. When, let, let me share my 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 testimony shortly. Yes, we have time. You don't need to. You don't need to rush yourself. Take your time, Bishop. Praise God. Yes. When I when I started out in ministry yes the lord said to me i got visions openly and i got dreams of hearing the voice of god and i got an open vision about starting the ministry and delivering de delivering people from oppression yes bless the lord and I never understood it because I got it when I was 19 and I, I grew up in the Seventh-day Adventist Bon's, church. Excuse me there. We have a question from Pastor Ricardo uh, Millwood. He said, I have a question. Do you face many, let me, do you face any backlash from leaders towards you as, as what? As, as a female bishop. Female. Of a fem as a female. Oh yes, as a female, I can see I can see some of the quest um some of the the sentence here. Do you face any backlash from leaders towards you as a female? <laughs> yes. Oh mighty God up in heaven. Many. Many. I can't count. Backlash you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Backlash is not a word, sweetheart. I have to face, I face death angels over and over. Yes. Because some male leaders tell me that um, no female bishop should carry this level of anointing. It is not written for a female bishop to carry the level of anointing that God has given me. Bless God. And so I face it but i ignore it yes when it comes to the spiritual warfare yeah that's when it gets real yes that when that's when it gets really serious yes bless god bless the lord that's when the anointing fills me and the wisdom of god teaches me how to overcome these battles yes bless the lord listen many are called but few are chosen. Amen. A woman was the first person to evangelize. It was a woman, the woman at the well. Yeah. When Jesus went to the woman at the well, he had to send away the disciples to buy meat. He sent them away because he, he was on a mission. He was on a mission. Yes. I but he knew that if the disciples came with him, they would start to judge the woman. Yes. But Jesus had an intention to meet with that woman at the well. And so he had to send the disciples away to meet with the woman. As you know, she's a whoremonger. Yes. Oh, bless God. Bless the Lord. And she was about her regular business. And then, of course, most of us know the story. Jesus started to tell her of her deeds and he asked her how many husbands she have yes bless god and she answered truthfully yes and so <laughs> jesus blessed her and she uh, went on to tell everybody about the man that she met at the well yeah excuse me bishop um pastor ricardo millwood please to follow bishop moore at on her facebook page that bishop nadine moore please to go over there and follow her very powerful woman of god Go ahead, Bishop. Thank you very much. Sorry to, to interrupt you. Bless the Lord. Yes. And so, where was I? We're talking about the woman at the, the well. The well. It was that woman 
the first person that went out and said, come see a man who can tell you all your deeds. Yes. Bless the Lord. Bless. It was this woman. Let me tell you something, Sarika. The Bible that we have. Yes. This Bible that we carry. Yes. It is limited. Yes. The truth of the kingdom of God, the truth of God has been altered yes in this world in more ways than one because in order for you to know the depth of certain things you have to do further research you have to find the lost books that carry the major stories yes. you have to find what is not printed in this book yes bless god some lost books that are not printed in our bible that we carry every day yes amen yes. and so it is limited edition yes a lot of the content has been taken out because the people who rewrite the bible they say that um some 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 wordings are not are not fit for people to read yes and so the prophets who wrote these books they were killed when they delivered the truth. Yeah. When they were teaching people about spiritual warfare, those books are not shown in the Bible. Those scrolls were taken into the Catholic regime. Yeah. And they were the, they are the only ones who know how to fight spiritual warfare. Yes. The truth of spiritual warfare is not in this book. Yes. In order for you to learn how to fight spiritual warfare, you have to have a connection with God. Yes. You must have a connection with God that will carry you through yes. your war here. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I totally, I agree with the North American Ethiopian Bible contain 88 books. In the books of which this book is very limited. Lack of knowledge mm -hmm. causes the people to perish. The, the Bible that we receive, the everyday Bible that you carry, Sirika. Yes. The truth is not in it. There, there are different levels of fighting spiritual warfare that is not given to man. I believe, because I've always said it. They, I, I, I know. The, the, the stories in this Bible, they tell you about when um chariots and soldiers from days of old how they how david won battles how he, he fought against the amorites and you know all these people that came up against him the different armies yes bless the lord where are the stories that were written where are the truth where is the truth that was written that teaches you how to fight spiritual warfare knowing that god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth knowing that this universe is made up of spirits yes how do we fight warfare in the spirit world it's not in the book yes and so the bible is edited and many truth has been re removed from the bible yes this bible is very gender yes it's very gender based that is true yeah that is true because the jews were against women yeah but what paul did <laughs> ah pastor millwood what paul did when he came into existence and god turned him around Return. from Saul to paul and he started to write the books he observed that the jews were against women the jews were promoting men in the in the synagogues and not women and so what paul said was he said to the women learn the word of god in secret yes learn it quietly yes 
If you are called to pray, cover your head. Yes. He was teaching the women how to carry out carry on in the in the synagogues. Yes. He was teaching them, he was telling them, don't act as if you're higher than the man, because this is the situation. If you're acting as if you're more anointed than the men, they're gonna give you a fight. Yes. So learn the learn the word, learn the doctrine in secret. Yes. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. And so I say to you that the, the word of God is limited. It has been edited and a lot of truth that we need to know is not in it. Yes. Let me have the question from Bridge. Uh, we have um, someone asking a question if you are willing to write a book. How to build a connection with God. As to how you, um, how to build a connection with God. And someone, yes, yeah, someone wants to know if you're willing to write a book as to how to build a connection with God and how to... I am, I am in the process of doing so. Yes, so Brit, you heard that from Bishop Moore, that she in the process of doing so. Bless God. Bless Through my experiences, then I can clearly write a book over and many books on how to get your connection with God. I believe if you stay in your circle with the Most High, He will protect you from spiritual warfare. Bless the Lord. Yes. If you stay in your circle, but what circle? Yes. Because as a child of God, you have to prepare yourself to face many trials and many tribulations. Remember, we are tested, tempted, and tried. Yes. As children of God. Yes. Um, you have to also understand that God made everybody different. Yes. And God gives special gifts to each person according to how he sees that you can manage. Yeah. Bless God. Bless the Lord. No. Some people might get three different gifts because the Lord sees that you're capable to carry it. Yeah. And some person might get just one. Some don't get any. So you find that the ones who may get one gift fight against the other with three gifts. Yes. So at the end of the day, you're in the circle of serving God. So how do you how do you stay in your circle when you are already in a circle of serving God? Bless God, you are bound to get a spiritual fight. The, the the people in the church, let me tell you something, Sirika. People in the church nowadays, yes. the most obia you find in the church, yes. the most obia is worked in the house of God. Lord. Bless the Lord. And you are a child of God. We come together. We, we call on God. We say, hallelujah, praise the Lord. We, we join hands in yeah. and heart in prayer. Or this is what it should be. Yeah. We should be our brothers and sisters. Keeper. Keeper. We should dwell together in love and unity. Yes. But the heart of the people is corrupted. Yes, yes, yes. This is why the word of God says, when God is going to, Take a church out of a church. Yes. The sheep and the goat will be separated. Yeah. Hello? Hello. Yeah. Bless God. Bless God. The, the, it's a mixed multitude. So I am answering the young man where he says, I don't know if he's a man or a woman that said, um, if you stay in your circle, yeah. you will be protected. Listen, God protects us. As his children, we are protected. Those of us who set out to serve him in spirit and in truth, we are protected. We are protected by the right hand of God. But you can't escape warfare. You cannot. Never. Warfare is there to test your strength. Warfare is there to, put, to, to, to test your loyalty. Mm -hmm. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Lia warfare is there to, to test your commitment to the Lord. Yes. Count it all joy when you find yourself in diverse temptation. Yes. But you commit yourself to God. You fight your battle and you ask God to teach you the secret of fighting these warfare yes. in order for you to be victorious. Listen, I have had so many experiences, Sarika. I mean, um, people would come to my church and receive healing healing from demons 
demonic possession, healing from cancer, yeah. healing from all different type of sickness, you know, because you've been there, yeah. you know, and it is the bishop and the pastors that give me a fight. Yes. When they see the, the level of anointing that God has placed on me, yeah. they send death angels to kill me. Oh. Thousands of death angels because they, God showed me the plan before it actually took place. Yes. Before the action actually manifests. So right God showed me five bishops. Right there in the church. Where there is a go right in the church, the right same here. bishops and pastors that shake hand with me, yeah. that tell me, um, my sis, that pray with me, that sing with me, that say hallelujah with me. They're the same ones yeah. that gather together, hypocritical mockers yeah. in feet. They plot against me, wolf in sheep clothes, for no reason, no cause. Yes, no reason at all, true. but just the anointing that God has given me. It is true. That's bless God. Up. Yes, and, and so you see, I, I I had reached a point with all the corruption that is taking place in the church. I reached a point where I just really just wanted to give up. I just wanted to because when I when I started ministry i honestly didn't know that so much wicked was in the house of god oh yes nobody it could is. tell me that's where that so much is. wickedness was in the house of god that's where it is nobody could tell me that there was so much hypocrisy and you know so much deceiving spirits i will ask you this question because you are at this point can someone believe in god but not attend church <laughs> yes, that's a serious that's question. question because at this point yes you can you can you can believe in god mm -hmm. the church is really there to restore yes. to heal to bless to give you strength yes but with how the world is changing yeah with how the church has changed yes i am not against somebody who has who believes in God, yes, but decide to have a connection with God outside of church. Yes. I am not against that individual. Yes. But you have to get baptized. Yes. You have to be born again and receive God as your personal savior, as your personal Lord and Savior. You have to be born of the water, of the spirit, and of the blood. And bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. You have to shed your old man you have to shed the old skin yes. bless the lord and be born again yes i believe so bishop and so the church is there for strength the church is there to guide you the church is there to, to teach you bless the lord bless the lord um as corrupted as some leaders are you can listen and learn yeah you can pick sentences of nonsense but what you need to do is to ask god to show you the right place to go yes knowing that not every house of god is really a house of god yes some house of god is there for this money making business yes play church i've seen it oh that's the in thing right now i don't even want to go there no we're not i don't even want to go there that is the in thing right now there is no fear for the lord there is absolutely no fear for God. I don't know. Very few people fear God because homosexuality is in the church. That is like never before. Yes. Thieves are in the church. Yes. Malice, keeping, hypocrisy, everything the church does turn over. The, tur the church turn upside down. <laughs> yes. The things that are happening in the church, most of these things are not of God. And God is not pleased. Yes. I believe you, Bishop. <laughs> I believe you strongly. To see you have in this world, it is just a wicked world, and everything is okay these days in the church. And so it's just... Bless in God. I don't cut your speaker, but there is somebody here that says that there are many gods, so it depends on which God one believes in, and that is true. 
Yeah. That is so true. That is very This is why I say not every not every house of God is a house of God. Not every house of God is serving the God who created heaven and earth. Yes. Some people use the God that we serve as a cover up to say that it is this God that they are serving. It is not so. Yes, it's true. They are worshipping some wicked spirits in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places is what they endorse. Yes. I believe so. And bless God. This lead me to a question, Bishop. That this is from me. This is a personal question from me. I believe that not every person saying Lord, 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 and entering into a church, they should touch me to say that they're gonna pray for me, for me to receive <laughs> a blessing. I don't believe in just any pastor touching me. In, especially in my head and telling me okay i'm praying for you so you get a blessing because sometimes these people touch you and crosses come down for you i'm just saying because this is my um question yeah this is a personal question but sometimes i will go to a church and i see a pastor praying and if they come up to the altar for praying they sit down say please become just tell myself i said listen you're not gonna touch me we feel it inside with a pastor then right. i say you're not touch me First of all, Linda, I'm going to answer you because I guess you want to ask me if it is right or wrong for you to say so. Yes. Bless God. Yes. But listen now, your topic is about religion and yes. denomination. Yes. Amen. Amen. I don't do religion. Yes. And I don't do denomination. Okay. I don't have no church of god baptist pentecostal i don't have a brand name on my church yes the name of my ministry is touched by an angel deliverance ministries international right i don't have a brand name to say whether apostolic or or whatever the case may be right there is no brand right because what denomination does i'm coming to answer your question Yes. What denomination does is cause disruption, confusion, and segregation. Yes. And because every leader within a particular denomination is going to tell you, don't go over that side because those people have their demons. And another one will say, don't worship with those people because they have a wrong, they have the wrong spirit. Yeah. Don't, you understand? Everybody have a different teaching. Yeah. Everybody have a different doctrine yeah. from, from, from from what God has already set for us. Yes. From the basic that he has taught us. Bless God. Bless. Now, before I came, became a leader, there was a time when I attended a church and they made an altar call. And I went up for altar I went up for prayer. A lady came down and for some reason, this lady she was just there was just something about her i was not so much connected at the time yeah but something was telling me that something is wrong with this woman yes and she went around and she went around and she looked at everybody and she come this by this during that time i was playing church you know yes i got her, i went to church in the on sunday and find um at mondays monday night yes Bless God. I was not serious in the house of God. I play church. Yes. I knew that I had a special gift, but I seriously play church. Yes. And the woman came beside me and she said, I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to pray with you. But when she said, I'm going to pray with you two times, it was two different voices that spoke to me. Yes. And when she put her hand on my shoulder, Sirika, and she started to pray. I only heard the woman start praying in tongues. And for, for one week, for one week after that woman prayed for me, I could not use my left side. What do you say? I could not use my left side. Huh? My left, the left side of my body was dead immediately after she finished praying for me. Huh? And so... You just said that not everybody, the Bible says, not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, shall see God. Yes. 
the devil goes to church. Yes. And he sits in the front seat. Yes. Bless the Lord. And so you have to be careful when it comes to laying of hands. Yes. Laying of hands must be done under a certain type of anointing. Yes. Somebody must be so filled under the anointing power of God to lay hands on you. Must be led by the Holy Spirit to touch you. People don't just come and lay hands like that. Yes. It's a dangerous thing. Yes. By laying hands, people will pass on demons from themselves to you. I believe. And so I can't tell you that you're wrong. You are very right. Thank you. Just I... Your head. This place here is a special covering yeah. for your body. This is where the anointing starts to flow. Oh. You don't come and let everybody and anybody touch you in your head. Yeah. That's a sensitive spot. Yeah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Your mole, this is what I want to teach you tonight. Your mole, this is what I learned through the Spirit of God. Your mole. Yes. The sensitive area of your body is where demons attack a lot of demons enter your body through your mole yeah. i never knew that it was the spirit of god that taught me that i carry this how i learned that years. there was a little girl that came to church and she, she 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 was acting normal but when i look at the child i didn't see the little girl i saw a monster inside her i saw a whale yes a sea whale and so I called and I heard, I heard the voice of God said to me, touch her on her mole, yeah. anoint her mole. And when I touch, when I use the olive oil and I touch her mole, that was it. Yes. That was it. And I hear the voice of God say, because this is where she has been possessed yeah. through her mole. Bless the Lord. Bless the you don't let any and everybody come and touch you in your head. No, that's a no. Yes. People will hurt you by touching your head. Yes. It's a very sensitive spot. And so, it's a point of entrance for demonic powers. And so I just want to say this on the live. For persons who do not know about spirituality and do not know about their um, religion or they have different beliefs, I just want to say this is a very powerful topic and this is serious um, reasoning right now. So I just want to be clear that. But yes, of course, you have persons out there who has their own belief like me. This this question has been battling inside of me for quite some time now. I have been holding it and I say I want after I'm doing this topic, I must ask this question tonight. So even though it's personal, it is meaningful. I had was to ask it. And thank you, Bishop. Bless the Lord. You don't allow people to touch your head. Thank you. Don't allow people to touch your head. Listen, when you when when an altar call is made, you have to remember that everybody is going up. Yes. Everybody is going up to the altar for prayer. People who are possessed going up. Mm -hmm. People who are sick going up. All different type of people going to the altar. Yes. One has to be careful, therefore, of the transfer from person to person yes you don't just allow people to touch you like that yes sometimes if you go to the altar for prayer and you see that maybe the leader or the pastor or whoever it is the evangelist coming to touch you i don't believe one should just touch you like that because even for me when i am led to touch people in order to for them to receive healing i would go to them and say is it okay for me to touch you Bless the Lord. Yeah. Because some people can be very feisty. Yes. And you have to be careful how people embarrass you. Bless God. Um, some people will say, no, Bishop, I don't agree with you. Because once you move under the authority of the Holy Spirit, yes, you move under the authority of the Holy Spirit, but you have to ask. Yes. Because people will embarrass you. You have to remember that some people are possessed. Yes. Now, if you are approaching somebody to lay your hands and you acknowledge that the person is possessed, then you deal with it differently. Yes. Bless God. In everything that we do, we have to use wisdom. Yes, Bishop. In the, the process of healing, it carries a certain level of wisdom. Yes. There are certain things you don't do. 
Praise God. Praise God. I see some leaders doing some form of healing nowadays. I don't know about it. Uh -uh. I don't know about it. And I don't want to know about it because there are some explicit ways that I see some leaders healing people. I don't think God approve of it. Yeah. But nevertheless, yeah. I am not here to judge. But I of myself, I just don't believe in it and I will not practice it. Yes. Praise God. And the next question. No. Um, yes, go ahead. Would allow me to ask this question because this this is my personal questions. You know, um, I don't write it down. It has been riding yes. in me for quite a while. So I know this is this is only right. And as a bishop, I just want to lay out my cards and, and you can give me your um opinion on it. Um do you think because for me it is not right, I don't believe in it, I don't believe in it, period. It upsets me to my core, like I'm talking to you right now. I am actually feeling I feel so bad about it. I want. I don't even know how to utter the word, but I'm just saying. For me, church gossip. It entertains demon in the church, and I don't believe in it. I just. I'm just asking you as a leader for a church. How do you see church gossip overall? Not only. I don't know about your church, but overall, I've visited so many church, and I see church gossip. And spiritually, the spirit shows me where when, when gossip is inside of a church, it entertains the wrong spirit in the church. And so I just want to know if you have any of salt in your church, how do you deal with something like that? Do you think that that gathering, you're breaking it up by letting a member know, listen, I will not I refuse to entertain such in my church because I don't want the wrong spirit to come in my church. Or do you deal with something like that in your church? Gossiping it. Hmm. Um, Sarika, you're touching some sensitive issues here tonight. Oh, Lord. Gossip is in every church. Yes. The spirit of gossip, which the Lord hates so much, yes. is in every denomination yeah let god but i'm going to show you i'm gonna and i'm gonna bring you to the text in a little bit that tells you about the seven things that the lord hates yes bless the word yes and one of them is a discord sower a discord a sower of discord is one who gossips and spread rumors bless the lord is one who causes contention between one or two or three people. Yeah. Bless the Lord. As for me, Sirika, this is my thing in, in the church. I say to them all the time, in my ministry, I am here to keep church. I am operating a ministry. You come in here to serve God. Yeah. You come in here to learn how to have a connection with God. Yeah. You come in this ministry to help the poor and needy. Yeah. You come here to ask God to forgive you of your sins. And I tell him what the church is about. Um, as for me personally, this is me. I don't, I don't, I don't, and I don't wish for anybody to tell me whether it is wrong or right, because I allow myself to be led by the Holy Spirit only. Yes. I don't allow men to lead me. I allow God to lead me. Yes. Gossipers in my church, I tell them to go and get themselves right. Yes. Get rid of this spirit. Sometimes I pray with them. Yeah. But like I said earlier, in the initial stages in starting this program tonight, I said to you that everybody comes to church for different reasons. Yes. yes. Some come to cause mischief. Yes. Some come to find man some come for fine woman some man come for fine man some woman come for fine people come for all different reasons yes. some people are sent into the church to destroy the the, the temple yes I bless god and so seriously some gossipers are sent to sow discord yes to cause confusion and disruption they are sent to do so yes now the, the the Bible in in um Proverbs six 
I need a light. Bless God. Let me read for you what the word of God says. Yes, Bishop. Let me read for you what the word of God says. It reads thus from verse 16. What is this? From verse 16. It says, there are seven things that the Lord hates that, that and cannot tolerate. Yeah. The Lord hates it and he cannot tolerate it. Yeah. It is a proud look, lying tongue, hands that kill innocent people. Bless God. Feet that hurry off to do evil, a witness who tells one lie after another, and a man who stirs up trouble among friends. Mm. We're talking about Dr. Fuzz. Yes. But the Bible is telling you clearly that the Lord hates, the Lord is against it. He can't stand it. He cannot tolerate it. Yes. Now, this is me. When I read the scriptures and I said, okay, if God cannot tolerate these things, why must I tolerate it? Right. Yes, the wheat and the tears must grow together till the day of harvest. Yes. But now gossipers, listen to me, I don't entertain gossip. Yes. And gossipers destroy the church because some leaders love gossip. And so by their fruits you shall know them. By From the head come down. Yes. Love gossip. And they are gossipers. They talk about people in the most derogatory way. They destroy people's character and integrity. Yes. Okay, it is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is the intention to destroy the body of Christ within that tabernacle. Yes. At, 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 um, the host that is divided amongst itself cannot stand. And gossip is one of the main things that destroy the house of God. Gossiping is one of the main things that separate the church. Yes. Bless God. Bless the Lord. That divide sure. the temple of God among itself. I have Gossiping. Yes. And so I tell people in my church now, I said, listen, let me tell you, if I talk to somebody who is a gossiper in my church more than two times, the third time I tell them, when you decide to serve God in spirit and in truth, you can come back. Yes. And I'm serious about it. And I, I care zero what anybody thinks. Yes, I've when you decide to serve God in spirit and it will come back. But for right now, you're not ready yet. You don't have a made up mind. You have not made up your mind to serve God in spirit and in truth. You, as a matter of fact, some people really don't know what they want. Some people are so disturbed yes. and have not made up their mind to receive healing, mental healing. Yes, they're blessed. God. And so gossiping Sarika. I believe it must be addressed in the house of God. You can't get rid of it. Yeah. But at Certainly least not. let the congregation know where you stand. You will not stand for it. Let them know that, listen, you're either here to serve God or you're here to serve the devil. You can't find the devil inside here. Yes. So you have to make up your mind once you're coming in this tabernacle that you're coming to serve God. God. What I try to do in my ministry is teach, teach, teach my members about love yes i teach them i say listen if 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 you see somebody come to church if you see a sister come to church and her shoes are lean yes don't gossip about it don't laugh at her yes. don't allow her to feel embarrassed you go and provide what she needs and don't let anybody know that they give her the shoes yes and that is strength and i tell them straight up because if i hear that you go and tell somebody that it is you that buy the shoes. We are going to have it to work out. Yes. We're going to work it so, out, you and I. That is the bless the Lord. the church. Praise him. Praise the Lord. You see, church protocol is broken these days because the leaders themselves don't stand by the precepts by which God lead them. Yes. They give in to gossip, they give in to the worldly activities, they give in to vanity, they give in to everything that is not of God. And so the, 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 the basic guidelines are not followed in the house of God. Bless the name of the Lord. Yeah. Um, I just want to touch another point being that I'm at this topic here, gossip. Bishop. In my ministry, whenever we collect tithes and offering, yeah. we go about looking after the the poor and needy oh yes i know you whether it is 
whether it is giving the um clothing or food or helping somebody to go back to school or whatever the case may be yes what i try to do is to get my members so involved in these activities yes that they have little or no time to gossip yes and that is the will of no after i get you involved in taking care of the less fortunate and you still find time to gossip you don't have time for god you're not ready yet yes and that's my take on it yes and please everyone please go over on facebook and follow bishop nadine Mur <laughs> <laughs> yes i have to send him over there bishop nadine uh, Moore. please go and follow her and contribute to her ministry in any way because she do have a program where she feed the elderly and she also goes on the street i've seen it for myself she goes on the street and she feeds them cook food whatever it is that she can offer to them she offer to them and listen charity charity is what the lord adores that was ordained by the lord and he said out of everything charity and love is the greatest please go over there and follow her and look at her ministry and if there is something that you want to do to help in terms of her providing for the needy and for the elderly feel free to send her a message um, bishop let me ask you are you on messenger that someone can reach out to you and give you a call <laughs> yes i am on messenger but funny enough sirika i have not been on facebook for quite some time for quite yes. some time i have not been on facebook listen oh i have someone i says nice food as well listen i've been to the church and taste the food <laughs> <laughs> I know how it is good food. You know it's yes. Um, I acknowledge that there are lots of people here who profess the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hold on, what is this? Nice rice food as well. Menu because I eat it. All right, oh, Randa, good too. night. Yes, I have <laughs> Listen, I have eat as well. I'm telling you about it. <laughs> so much. Um, <laughs> um best is if i don't know if it's a male or female but it's a female <laughs> she's I from england had it oh you're from england i'm here in america i've tasted that food down there i tell you about it <laughs> i have to, i tell you about it the other day i received a visit from yeah. the shop where she's showing me that she's on the street walking and let me tell you something when the food run out, when she reached 100 person and the food run out, I said, Lord, I've murdered my heart. She has said, no, man. I need to uh, at least let her can be able to feed 200. So, you yes. know, uh, we need to get um, this in, 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 in motion. Yes, I we do need help in this department. Um, I have not been on Facebook for quite some time because I realized that a lot of um, pastors are coming on Facebook just saying two things and then they start asking for money. So I try not to be a part of the foolishness. Bless the Lord. Yeah. Um, this is what I'm saying. Because of these people, you come with a genuine cause. Yes. But because of these other actors that come with their foolishness, you're really not getting the support yes. as a true leader. Mm -hmm. Bless the Lord. Yes. Now, being that we're on the point of feeding the poor. Yes. Taking care of the poor and needy. Yes. Um, last week, last week it was, um, which day was it? Uh, last week we had, last week Sunday, mm -hmm. um, I prepared rice and peas, cow foot and chicken, baked chicken marinated in red wine. Oh Lord. No, and we talking. fed the people. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Um, everyone that is on, on this wall tonight, I just want to tell you guys. You see, when I talk about all this food, it stress me. Come and love my. <laughs> and she you know, oh my God. She cook for me because I wouldn't mind. She cook the food and send it up America, Miss. <laughs> I'm talking about street side person, the homeless person, the mad people on the street, and this is the meal that they are receiving. So when she yes there, this is the meal that they receive. Bless the Lord. So, and and this Friday, the twenty fifth of of um December, this, Christmas Day, yes. 
Um, we're cooking oxtail, curry goat, and barbecue chicken. Now, hold on a minute, Sarika. Hold on a minute. Um, I said to a bishop, I said, listen, um, this is the menu. Yes. For the 25th of December. This is what I'm giving the people. Yes. And he said to me, you are giving those people oxtail. I said, yes. I'm giving them what I love to eat. Yes. I am giving them because they don't get it. They don't. At some people, maybe from the day they born, them they know how ox steel tears. Yes. And he said, well, I can't help you in that area because I don't even eat ox steel at my house. Yeah. Oh. And, you know, I look at it and I said, this man is so, he is so wealthy. Uh -huh. He has much out of church. Yeah. And this is the comment. This is the, this is the reply. It is sad, Sarika. Yeah, that's a sad response. It is sad. And you know, uh -uh -uh. um, it makes me wonder. It makes me wonder uh -huh. what is going to happen on that day. Yes. What is going to happen when the trumpet sound mm -hmm. and the dead in Christ shall rise? What will your answer be? Yes. But to each man his own. Each is his own. But you know, so what I try to do, I just want to do what God leads yes. me to do. It is, it is not about um, staying in the pulpit and preaching yes. and teaching every Sunday or every Saturday. The people of God, the people out there, they need attention. The poor and needy are God's precious prized possession. Oh, yes. We need to go there and attend to them. We need to come out of the four walls. As for me, I shut down my church. Yeah. I shut down my church in Portmore. Listen, I shut down it, that church in Portmore because the Lord tell me to shut it down. The Lord says, shut it down because all you have in your church are deceivers. Yeah. Shut them down. Yes. Bless God. Bless and I shut down that church in Portmore and I started a fresh ministry. Yeah. And I want to tell you, I feel so blessed. Yes. These people that are in the ministry know they are very attentive, very committed, yeah. very dedicated to looking after the poor and needy. Yeah. And this is, this is one of the things that I prayed for. I asked God to send people that will help me yeah. to care for the people who are in need. Are you that, not listen, you have to make your life worth living yeah. while you're here on this land, passing through. But it, you know, make your life help somebody as you travel along. I don't cut your bishop. You know, this is something for me. Even when I'm in um, Jamaica doing business, a woman doing business, and I, I do I, um on that little plaza that I did business. I don't know. Is I have a and I used to just cook like in the days when I'm coming to work I cook before I you know and when I reach at the business place I cook for the madman he used to be in the corner I that's a mad 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 man and I cook for him on a daily basis and Christmas the only thing I didn't give him is fish because I'm telling myself he's a madman now when you're looking at the <laughs> madman plate him have oxtail and him have curry goat all baked chicken you know rice and peas and him vegetable upon the side i mean just carry some juice for giving and when i don't cook yes. i stop at kfc because i'm used to happy to drop off my kids to school and when i drop them after school me gone straight to kfc and if it and i carry the fries refill the juice and one piece of chicken i feed that madman so well that one day i lost my gold earring and i saw he just come to me before i open um that store and he said you know i find your earring i said uh-huh a madman talking to me. And when him take out that gold herring, if you if you ever see trash come out, I'm pack it. I say, oh Lord. But you know what happened? He knows me so well. And I and I have a passion for anyone I see that takes care of a mad person, a homeless person, the hellally person, regardless, because some of them are out there on the street because of reaction, but still. It is not us to judge, but to love. 
We are not here to judge, but well, as for me, um, Sarika, I I speak to them all the time. Like Sunday, there was this man; he was naked. He had on no clothes whatsoever, and I stopped him. And I said, would you like some food? No, when I, this is a man, when he was coming down the road, everybody was running away from him. Mm. Everybody started. Some people crossed the road. And I went straight up to him. And I said, good afternoon. And he said, yeah, afternoon. I said, would you like some food? He said, yeah, 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 yeah. But coming to eat long time, one, two food. I said, no, I can only give you one. And I started to have a conversation with him. Let me tell you something. Some of these people, they are demon possessed. Yes. And others, they just really want somebody to talk to. Yeah. But they, they are rejected everywhere they go. Yes. And so they just take to the streets. Mm hmm and they lose it naturally. Yeah. They lose it yeah. because they can't find anybody to support them in their corner. Yes. Bless God. When when I take the streets, people stand up and look and take pictures because I find the worst people to talk to. Yes. I talk to them and I tell them, listen, God loves you. Yes. And I want you to accept God in your life. I want you to serve him. And I teach them how to pray. Yes. Bless God. On Sunday when I went out, um, my heart broke when I saw that. We only had limited food and there was people coming from, I don't know where so much people come from. Oh. I don't know where so much, we stopped to just pour out some sorrel and give some of them. Yes. And people just start pour out of some corners around your circle. Yeah. Bless God. And when, when some, some, some women come and they say, Oh God, me not get nothing for eat from morning. So it broke my heart. Yes. It broke my heart. And I had some, some chicken into another container, just chicken alone. And they said, um, I said to them, I'm going to give you chicken, but I don't have anything for you to eat with it. Yeah. And the lady said, no, give it to me. I will eat it. We will take the chicken alone. So I attempted to give one of them the pan of chicken. Yes. And the lady said, no, 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 no. If you do it that way, we're not going to get any. You have to share it. Oh. You know, and I started to, to, to share it all to them. And, you know, I, I really, I look into it and I said, if only the churches could take off the brand name. Yeah. Take off the brand name and let us come together yeah. and, and just, just unite yeah. as a force to be reckoned with. Oh, bless God. As a force against Satanic kingdom yeah. that is trying to destroy destroy this, the house of God. Yeah. Bless the name of Jesus. If only we could just unite towards even this cause. Can you imagine the great change that we would make in this world? Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I bake some Christmas cakes that people, oh my God, up in heaven, people craving for those cakes. Yes. People crave for those cakes. No, and I sorry. said to my son, I sent him some. And I said, listen, I want you to send to you to take some of these cakes that I sent and give it to the homeless. Yes. Feed it to the homeless and let them have a taste of this type of cake. Yes. Bless God. Yeah. You know, we just need to shift our focus from all the foolishness and all the unnecessary things and just do the perfect will of God. Yes, I believe so. I believe it. Praise them. Praise the Lord. There are churches out there that are capable, Sirica. Yeah. There are leaders out there that have that that are well established and have been around for many years, many many years, and they are able to help. In this category, feeding the poor and needy, feeding and taking care. Even when I went out, there were some little children. Children, they were hungry. Yeah. It broke my heart. And there are so many churches in that vicinity. But everybody is about going to the building and focusing on going into the building and to look at the same faces every weekend while the people are on the outside suffering. That's why we come back to the same thing. It is the money in the church. That's all they, they do is to keep it, to do whatever it is that they want to do, but then they would spread a little love. Well, it is true. There is no love to spread. That's where the focus is. Yes. I but the greatest gift of all, Sarika, 
First Corinthians 13. The, you can sing like a bird, sing like an angel, you can preach like Paul, you can do all these things, but the greatest gift of all is charity. charity. Yes. Bless the Lord. Once you have charity, you have everything. Yes. You you automatically adapt to righteousness and holiness. Charity, love. Yes. Love covers a multitude of sins. Oh, yes. When you have love, you care for people. You are genuine at heart. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Charity is the greatest gift of all. Yes, Bishop. And so I get my members involved in charity. Yes. I teach them the word of God as though I'm led by the spirit of God. And I get them involved in taking care of the poor and needy. Yes, Nardia Banks, charity, love. Charity is love. Charity is love. And love is of the Lord. Praise him. Yes. So on, on, on the 25th of, of which is Friday, yeah. Christmas Day, when everybody is gathered with their family, I will be on the road. I'll be up from four o'clock cooking. Yes. And I'm going to be on the road feeding the people. Those people. And so I'm asking if anybody is watching this program and I I I whether you want to donate cash, rice, whatever it is, chicken or whatever, whatever it is, I will gladly receive it because listen, um, people must not be fed just December alone. No, right, Judy. People hungry every day. Yes, two people are hungry every day. Yes, spread a little. Bless God. Spread a little love. So we are out every weekend until the Lord so bless me and I can do it on a daily basis. Yes. Spread a little love, everyone. Nardia Banks. Yes. Amen. Let us spread a little love. Go over to Bishop Moore's page at our Facebook page. You can um, send her a messenger a message as to how you want to help. You can messenger call. You can do anything. You know, social media. You can just reach out. Go ahead and reach out. Feel free to reach out. Help with the charity program. If you want to offer a bag of rice, if you want to offer a quench, you mix it up in a bucket with some sugar and give them some drink. No, sweetheart. Bread. We don't give that to the poor lady. We don't give that. <clears throat> Bread. I am sorry, Tarika. I only made natural juices for them. Okay. Which is good. I have a smile, <laughs> a smile on my face. Yes, so bread. <laughs> yes, reminds me of myself. True. Yes. Myself. Rice, chicken, whatever it is that you can donate. If you want to donate cash, it's acceptable as well. So feel free to do so. And if you also want to come up prior, you can reach out to her as well. And the list just goes on. Just go over to Bishop Moore's Facebook page, follow her, contact her, and join her. In any but can I ask you a question, though, Sarika? It's your program, but I have a question. Sure, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> we are not here to bash anybody. We're just here to speak the truth. Yes. What knowing that you have been, you have become a child of God. Yes. Can I ask you, therefore, what is your experience like in the house of God? Oh, Lord, that's a little epic question in a bishop. Well, first thing, you know, um, oh, Lord. I am in America, as you know, so church in America is different from in Jamaica. Right. Um, my experience is a total different experience from what I am really to. And um, as we exp as we as we say, you know, many different churches have many different way of worshiping. Worship. Yes, and so it is different. But for me, but one God, I believe that a church is a body. And then everybody in a church is gifted in a different ear. Some churches don't believe in um, 
say for me as a person, as a designer, mm -hmm. I have visions and sometimes the Holy Spirit lead me to warn some people. So sometimes if you would tell them, then they wouldn't believe it or they would think otherwise. And so that it kills the spirit because it's, 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 um, I would say some people, then the Holy Spirit lead you to them in order to guide them and they would turn you away. So they turn right. away what the Lord <laughs> to help and to guide them along the path. You know, uh, but overall, it's a challenging experience for me. It's different. You know, it's new. It sometimes will put you underneath the bed to lie down. So many things. You know, I don't want to put anything. I want to come right. But for me, I work in a different way because sometimes I could find it to worship. To be honest with you, I would find a speech because I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. But my heart, if I should do something that's not right, then my conscience. So I would go in a corner and I would say, God, help me. And so my, my bedroom that I can do, and that's where I, I go on my knees. And when I don't go on my knees, I will sit. And when I don't sit, I will lie down. And I find peace. And I hope in my heart and release a glorious praise. I believe it. And that's the reason why I ask you question. Can someone believe in the living God but don't go to church? Even before I got baptized twice. But even before I got baptized, I have the Holy Spirit visiting me. And so I knew that special. I know that before people, the angels, they come, they visit, they lead me and they guide me. The Holy Spirit would come and call me. I know that I must. But then many times, I go to other person and they don't know if I have a message. They and I said, okay, that because the Bible says you know, Bishop, that he who is righteous, let him be righteous, and he who is unrighteous, let him be unrighteous. You can't force redemption on people. This is my this is me. I try not to force myself on anyone because redemption is not for me to force it on you. Praise him. Yes. Which is right. Yeah. As you rightly say, he that is unrighteous, let him be unrighteous still. Mm -hmm. Bless God. He that is just, let him be just still. Yeah. In 1 Corinthians 12. Um, let me just read a portion here. Now concerning what you wrote about the gifts from the Holy Spirit. I want you to know the truth about them, my brothers. You know that while you were still he. The, you were still he then. Yeah. You were led astray in the ways to the worship of lifeless idols. I want you to know that no one who is led by God's spirit can say a curse on Jesus. Let me go down further. Yeah. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit gives them. Yeah. There are different ways of serving God. Um. There are different ways of serving God, but it is one God. Yes. There are different kinds of, um, there are different abilities to perform service, but the same God give the ability to all for their particular service. Bless yes. God. And so this is another, this is another ticklish point in the church. Yes. If, uh, if a member of the church has a strong 
spirit of discernment even more than the leader yes then you are chastise you are cast aside you are put down you are told that you are not um you don't have a right spirit mm -hmm. you are told that you need to pray but i know about you sirika and i know that i have always been praying for you i have always been praying for you and i've always been asking god to convict you to become a part of the family of God. This has always been my prayer for you. Yeah. I, I, I admire your strength. You. Even when you were a part of the, the worldly activities, I admire your strength. I, dis, I, I, I admire your ambition Thank to you. succeed in an honest manner. Yes. Bless God. I, I admired how you, de you, you dealt with problems. I admired how when you're going through your trial and your tribulations, you still find time to encourage others, even me. Yes. Bless God. And so I have always asked God to convict you so you can become a part yes. of the family of God and God and prior. Yes. Praise him. I know that you have strong spiritual discernment because you are always on point. You can say to me, Bishop, this is what God has showed me and, and, and it is quite so. There is always a witness. I have witnessed a lot of messages that you gave. I am a true witness to know that you are called by God. Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. So, um, I just want you to know that in, in any church and in every church, yeah. uh, with, with what you possess, you have to be prepared to face negativity. You have to be prepared to face rejection, especially when you cannot be manipulated. Yeah. Bless the name of the Lord. But I just want you to hold strong. Thank you, Bishop. I want you to keep pressing because you're a strong person. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Tonight, I want you to understand that you are the head and you will never be the tail. I will. Robo shatter. My God, God has injected in you, Sirika, the spirit of authority and boldness to go forward and i don't ever want you to think less of yourself Never. oh bless the name of jesus and so tonight i am honored even though i have gained this title but i am honored to have you in my corner as somebody that i can consult with oh praise god i am honored to know that god has aligned me with one like you yeah. because the mere fact that i'm a bishop doesn't mean that i cannot um uplift you and encourage you and put you at the level where god says you are yeah. you are are at the level to lead oh bless god mm -hmm. you are very strong you have overcome many obstacles and so tonight i honor you thank you i honor you truly i admire your strength and i honor you and i know that oh bless the name of jesus what god has in store for you doesn't stop here Thank you, Bishop, and I receive it. Oh, praise God. And I want to tell you that no weapon that form against you will never, ever prosper. Let me take horrible shatter. I don't know, but there is a shift in the atmosphere. I hear the Spirit of God say, speak over your life. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Rababa shatter robo Makundurababa sata. Rebe shatter robo shete. In the name of Jesus tonight, every hand that work evil against you sirika spencer shall fall and wither ribika torobo shatter makondoro basaya mighty god every hand that work evil against you shall wither and dry up like the great kurababa shato my god up in heaven there is a shift in the atmosphere tonight oh bless the name of jesus no more that speak against you oh god almighty their plots will never come to nothing it will never be fulfilled it, in it is not void in the name of jesus in the name of jesus I 
every plot and plan of the enemy against your life, against your success, against your destiny. I send burning fire in the enemy's camp tonight. Listen to me, Sarika. You are blessed. Thank you, Bishop. You are blessed, says the Lord. You are blessed. I call you blessed. Praise him. Praise him. And I know that even with this program, oh, bless God, I see in the spiritual realm, I see a fight coming with this program. But I cover you, I cover you, I cover you, I cover you, I cover you. Rababa Shato, I cover you tonight in the name of Jesus. I cover you from the north, south, east, and west. I cover you, I surround you with the fire of God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Any evil that come near you shall receive instant fire in the name of the name Jesus tonight. I cover you in the mighty by the right hand of God tonight. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. There is so much that God has in store for you. You ain't seen nothing yet. Thank you, Bishop. You have not seen anything yet. You are blessed. Your children are blessed. Your home is blessed. And everybody that come in contact with you is blessed. Thank you, Bishop. And I receive it. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless. The Hallelujah. Yes. And I just want to say to... um. I don't know if you will allow me. I don't know if you will allow me. But there is somebody, oh, praise God, oh, praise God, praise God. There is somebody that was on your program earlier. Yes. Somebody, somebody. I can't find the person, but somebody was here earlier. The Holy Spirit wanted me to speak into that individual's life but they're not here now they're not here now but i hear god say speak into this individual's life oh bless the name of jesus but if that person comes up again i will say what the lord wants me to say yeah. oh praise him like i say to you Sarika, i'm totally led by the holy spirit of god i will be in the supermarket and holy spirit visit me there uh -huh. i will be on the bus and holy spirit this is when you make yourself available to God. to God, available to be used by God anywhere, yeah. anytime, anyhow. Yes. Bless God. The Lord. And I'm grateful. I am grateful to my Lord and Savior that he chose me. Yes. Yeah. I am grateful that he chose a wretch like me. Yes. To do his mighty and powerful work. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, let me see if is that the pastor that was over here? You had a pastor um, here, Millwood. Yes, I think that Millwood. Yes, oh mighty God, I see him with a ministry. I see him with a ministry. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Prince. I don't know if he's still here, but I see him. My God, I see him with a ministry and I see a lot of young people. I see young people from every corner coming to him to learn. I see him helping a lot of youths. I see them in training. I don't know, but I see different teachers teaching them in various areas. But it is a ministry that he is operating. Yeah. Oh, bless God. God has us so much in store for this gentleman. Yes. And he knows the truth. Yes. He knows the truth. Oh, praise him. Praise the Lord. And he's about to find a wife. He has not found, I don't know. But Echo, look here. I don't want to get myself in trouble tonight. Let me leave that alone. Yes. Can I ask you a question, Bishop? Yes. So, for your church, this is what I want to ask. Um, how do you deal with unmarital sex in your church? <laughs> Mighty God. Yes. <laughs> I know that. that... So you sure you want to ask me that question? Oh. You sure you want to ask me that question, Sirika? Well, sex in church overall, uh, you know, unmarital. Oh. How, how do you deal with members doing that? This is says the bible tells you that the gifts of god come with strong desires yes strong desires and a, a lot of these desires are sexual desires yes um 
but we must be able to control the flesh yes yes i myself have fell victim to the need of sex because yeah. i must talk about me first yes i myself because we have to be honest in the house of god yes i myself have fell into fleshy conditions yes. wanting sex yes amen yes but over time my spirit has been strengthened to control the flesh yes and so in ministry you go through processing yeah everyone goes through process no one is made perfect you have to go from one level to another level listen what i'm saying to you um sex and marital sex is happening in every church yes it is happening in every denomination what i do particularly with the youth in my church is that i counsel them yes young young um converts i counsel them yes i say to them especially because some people come in as um sex addicts yes and so your the, the the discernment of god will show you that these people are lovers of sex they can't do without it yes that's how they were in the world so coming into the church how do we handle that yes you have to take such an individual and you have to counsel them you have to teach them biblical knowledge of what is wrong and what is right you have to pray for them you have to cover them you cannot condemn them because you have to remember that us as leaders you know us as leaders I fall into some very messy situations sometimes. Yes. Bless God. And so, because you yourself have, 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 have fallen into the arms of flesh already. So, experience now teaches you how to lead people who are weak. Yes. In the spirit. Amen. Amen. And so, what I do with young converts and youths, I counsel them, I teach them right from wrong. Yes. You know, um, if the youths in my church, if, if they have found partners, because in every church, the young people, them find boyfriend and girlfriend. Yes. You know, I still have to pray with them. I I will I will I will call them and I will say, listen, are you sure this is the person that you want to be with? Yeah. Are you sure that this union is ordained by God? Have you consulted God about this union? Yeah. Praise God. Or if if I am so led and God show me that this is this this is just not gonna work, I tell them straight. I say, listen, this union don't make sense. Mash it up now. It's not going anywhere. I just lay it on the table. Yeah. I don't go around corner. If somebody gets pregnant, if a female gets pregnant in my church and she is not married, I cannot put her out of the church. No, I don't support that. A lot of a lot of churches, a lot of leaders would have put out the female and or put her to sit at the back of the church. You know, I say come to church and seek repentance yeah. and make sure that this don't happen again. And and I will not force marriage on this young lady either. I feel like I am right. not going to tell her that because John gets her pregnant, she must marry. No. Because I don't know that John is her husband. So who am I to tell her to get married when God didn't ordain it? She made a mistake. Yes. And she's sinned before God. I can only encourage her to repent and, and to do what is right in the sight of God. Yes. And, also and try to get that connection with God and allow her spirit to grow where it now takes control of the flesh. Yes. Praise him. Praise the Lord. No, sex, the, the, the devil plays on our weaknesses. The Bible tells us that he comes to steal the devil, the adversary, Satan. Yes. Satan 
and his little people, mm -hmm. they are seeking souls to devour. Yes. They come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Yeah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I cover this program now. I cover this program now in the name yeah. of Jesus. I cancel every dart of the enemy. I cancel every arrow sent to destroy. Rabba Shatoro City. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every arrow sent to cause disturbance tonight. I send it now to the pit of hell where it shall rise no more in the name of jesus i cancel the strong man i cancel the evil man that come against this program in the name of jesus bless god yes, hallelujah and so we're talking about where was that um children someone getting pregnant in the church and not putting them out but to right i won't i don't put out those people i don't put out teenagers no when they are pregnant i don't i take them into counseling i try to guide them i teach them biblical truth yes i let them know that listen i don't know that this is ordained by god i am not going to force you to get married to the young man which is which is a mistake that a lot of leaders have made and so this is another reason why there are so many broken marriages in the church yeah. because when a youth a, a young girl gets involved with with a, a, a male in the church and she gets pregnant they want to take shame out of their eyes yes out of the leader's eye and it's not out of the, the, the the, fe the female eye is out of the leader's eye yes. and so they push them they force them to get married and it is wrong yes it is wrong it is wrong it is not to be a marriage is a union that must be ordained by god yes. it must if it is not ordained by god he does not count it as such yes it is not passed yeah bless god bless the lord and so what the devil does, as I was saying before, he's seeking souls to devour. Yes. He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So what he does, he attack our mind. Yes. Now, the, the, the mind is a powerful thing. When you can have a change of mind about a situation, when you can set your mind, if you set your mind that you're going to worship God in spirit and in truth, if you set your mind that you're going into the house of God because you want a connection with him, you want to get closer to him, you want the strength to serve him and to walk this journey in spirit and in truth, you will get there. And you will have that connection because God will help you to get it. Yes. I... But if your mindset is open to just any and anything. Yeah. If your mindset is going to find a man, because a lot of women go to church nowadays to find a husband. They don't go in the church to get um to get a close relationship with God. Yes. Some women go in the church because they want the pastor, or they want the evangelist, or they want the deacon. Yes. Some, 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 some <laughs> Lord, why am I here tonight, Jesus? <laughs> help me. Some, some, some men, some leaders, don't want no man that come in the church to get none of the female. They want everybody for themselves. Oh God. Bless God. Bless and so God. This, this is what I'm saying. The house of God is a corrupted place. The Bible says judgment begins in the house of God. Yes. Judgment begins in the house of God. Yes. The house of God is a dreadful place. Yes. Christians behave in a way that not even sinners don't behave. Even think. Yeah. We have some behavior that not even sinners think about. Yeah. Some Christians, not all Christians. So let me correct myself before I'm bashed. Yes. Bless God. But the intentions of a person is what matters most. Yes. People's intention of going into the house of God, like I see, and I will say again, everybody go to church for different reasons. Now, a woman that come to church to find a man, Oh, How do I deal with that situation? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's a rough one. You know? Oh, mighty God. No. A woman 
that only come into church because she want a husband yeah. or she want the pastor because some women just come into the church because of the pastor the pastor handsome oh. and him drive a nice car and he's single so me want him i want to be first lady they want title and status yes yes i will take that individual into serious counseling Amen. Amen. And I don't believe after counseling that individual will come back. Yes. Until they get it right. <laughs> Look here now. Praise him. Praise God. Listen, no, <laughs> God is not mock. God is not mock. Mm -hmm. And we have to be careful. Oh, we say, Lord, Lord. We yes. have to be careful. Yes. Don't call the Lord. Because Indeed. there is a way that seemeth right yes. unto a man, but the end thereof is death. Mm -hmm. God is not somebody to play with. Yes. He's not mock. Yes. And so I don't entertain mockery and foolishness. No. I don't entertain it. And so, and so when I draw up some people in the church, because you have some men who just really, even for me, I'm Sirika. Some men just come to church because they want Bishop Moore. Yes. Yes. Bishop Moore is beautiful, you know. <laughs> yeah. And they just come and they sit down. Yes. And they say, um, Bishop, I come for counseling, or I want you to tell me what is happening in my life. Or some of them just boldly say, Bishop, I just come, come on, look for you. Yeah. I just want to look at you, so I come. Oh. Bishop. You know, but yeah. I like when they come to me like this, I said, mm -hmm. yes, there is all for you to become a child of God. Yes. And so I start to give them the scripture. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Yes. <laughs> in everything, in everything, sometimes you have it. <laughs> yes. Camilla, Camilla Candy said, Bishop, stay good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Candy. Thank you. I've heard that a lot. I've heard, I've heard men say, Are you sure you're a bishop? Yes. I'm saying, How does a bishop look? They say no, but um, Bishop no normally looks so good. And they say, oh, Bishop oh, Lowe. No, Bishop Lowe. And Bishop no normally sexy. And they say, oh, Bishop Lowe. Yes. Bishop must wear a long skirt. Yes. I look tired. And socks and crepe. Yes. Where it go? And the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Bless the Lord. But you must look good for God. Listen, yes. I used to go dance all and wear. When me I go dance hall, when I'm going to the dance hall, Sirika, back then. Oh, Lord, I can imagine. Yes, the clothes never normal. It never normal. All right. It not normal, it not cheap. Oh. It's still good and it's expensive. Yes. Yes. So when I come into the house of God. Yes. I must look good. Of course. Yes. I and I must that. represent. I believe in that. Yes. I Amen. Amen. Yes, I do. Be Amen. And so just like oh, when I enter a red carpet dance, all eyes turn. Yes. When I enter the house of God, all eyes turn, not to show off, you know, yes. but to just show that I am a child of God. I must look good for God. Yes. And I don't have any intentions behind it either. Earth I just want to look good for God. Position. And a man of God, he said, listen, I don't know how I can deal with a woman wearing the tall skirt past her knee. She don't wear one little lipstick, no makeup. And then her hair just so, so, so. And so he said, I can't deal with it. I said, what? He said, no, I can't. Let me tell you something. We're on this topic now. We, we switch now, Sarika. We switch. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, they do. Atness is on the order. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> Listen me good because Sarika, you you draw me out tonight. You know, you see, I'm trying to be a nice girl, Bishop. You know, are a nice. Girl. I'm trying to be so nice, person, a beautiful being. And you're pulling me out of my um my comfort zone. You know. Uh no, Bishop, I'm not. But listen me carefully, sweetheart. Listen me carefully. Yes. When you are married as a Christian. Yes. You don't, you, you don't every day you don't fast fasting a long clothes and look like a drag queen. Uh, and when I say drag queen, I don't mean the, the, the drag queen fix up part. Yeah. I mean the drag look terrible uh, no. part. 
Yes. yes. Pop down low. You must look good for your husband. Yes. You must excite your husband. You must be adventurous. Yes. Hello, and everybody must be freaky, but you feel, you feel, you feel make your man want to <laughs> stay with you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Make your husband want you. Yes. I want to talk to some Christian, you see. So, look here. I can't talk to some Christian, Sarika. I can't talk to some Christian because, see, that topic now, only for heart and like I go up now, you know, see the place I'm at. <laughs> Okay. Yes, because I see my pastor around the back of blaze up lighter. Yes, and we have Romario Gale up this up here. Um, big red yes. animal exclamation. Sir. Yes, yes. Listen me, you must hold your husband. Yes, yes. I have you not him. hold him another church sister going to take him? Yes, yes. I want to talk to some people, make a move the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I want to talk to some people. Here, yes. Your husband Life wants you. Them. Your husband's supposed to be on the road and can't wait to come home yes. to you. Yes, Mr. Because you yes. look good and you're sexy. Buy some nice laundry. Your husband yes. got our DNA for you. Nothing can separate that. Yes. You're legal. Yes. 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 Husband supposed to their work and can't wait for come home to wife because wife look good. Yes, it's true, Bishop. Wife is wifey full of romance wifey a rose petal palm berry champagne chilling look here in the name of jesus it's any day me <laughs> married is a day a while ago you know i just pop my color something tells me just look over a while ago for see what is that yes i like that yes yes must have some righteous fun yes yes must have righteous fun, man. You know, yes. I do not know how it's out of way. But make your husband want you. Yes. Husband, husband must be at work and can't wait for each home. Yes. But you have... Amen. Amen. You have some ladies, them, them used to sexy, and then suddenly as them get married, they stop wearing the sexy oh. lingerie or some yes. bingo bag. And then there is... That is a lie. Skirt. Mash down that yes. lie. Mash it down. Husband leaving for another church sister. And then they start bubbles. Husband yeah. leaving right there for another church sister, Sarika, because somebody in the church going to take him. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. The long That's... clothes, every day, long clothes, it not going to work out. Not... Hello. Hello. Listen, the same thing where you use to get the husband, make sure you continue to yeah, keep after... him, smell good, buy the nice, expensive perfume. Yeah. Even when you're going to bed, a little behind the ears and sweet up yourself and buy some sexy laundry. Yes. It's... Hello. Hello. I heard you. Sure, Sarika, don't I answer me. The Let me keep on the straight and narrow tonight. Yes. I answer the phone when it's yes. hello, Bishop. As you say hello, I say hello. I'm right with you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Damn it. I can't do over there yes. and laugh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> As you say hello, Bishop, yeah. answer the phone. No, but it is a serious thing because um I have had a lot of complaints, you know. Yes. Husbands have come and say, Bishop, every day my wife they pan fasting. Yes. And I have to call the wife and say, What what happened? You're old for make somebody take your husband. What's happening? What you up to really? Yeah. You tired of him or what? You don't want him anymore? Yes. Bless God, and I start to introduce her to some Victoria's Secret and the nice things, them, the nice things, yeah. them. Because you see, Amen. Amen. Some of them in a bishop, they just want to get the ring, and after they get the ring, that's it. No. After you're messing up your marriage. You're messing up your marriage, and you're leading your husband astray. Likewise, the man must keep the fire burning yes and some men man them not have because it. some men but are guilty of this as well after they get married they just, they just get boring they don't take the wife anywhere yes all of a sudden it's silent night holy night all is calm all is bright mm. not even to say honey how you doing how was your day everybody gets silent and every minute him gone on phone yeah right through the night phone 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 and poor little wife, he lied on beside him, want one little attention. Yes. Hello? Hello? I'm here, Bishop. Yes. 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 <laughs> you understand? So the men are guilty also. Yes. You have yes. to keep that fire burning. You have to keep it's praying. Fast. You have to ask God to teach you new ways to love your partner. Yeah. You know? You, you go out on trips. Go out on date. 
karaoke wife on a nice oh, a nice five, evening five, dinner from five, time to time you know them. yes we have come yes man forever burning fire <laughs> yes <laughs> yes you don't have to wait until um special days to to, to give your your partner a gift yeah sometimes you you at a, your your partner is at the workplace you send some roses yes. you send some nights cologne um we have she said um yes my, um, Marie. As a wife i take my husband and date. of course take out your husband and yeah you're supposed to Leave. nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that yes take him out and date of course and make him feel good treat him yes. but make sure say he, make sure that he's treating you as well yes you know praise him mm -hmm. yes you understand it must be balanced you it must be balanced yes it must be entertaining yes. there must be love and fun and excitement righteous fun yes right right out yes it is wrong listen the marriage thing and, and 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 church people they get something wrong somewhere down the line i don't know what went wrong but something went wrong um Brittany is asking a question being a child of god do you have to inform your leader of every relationship you're in? <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a good of in heaven. Um, Brittany, let me tell you, see, <laughs> yeah, if you, you ask a good question, do you have to inform your leader of every relationship that you're in? Then, Brittany, I could have how much relationship you have, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, but it's never mind, it's a bit hard. But on a serious note, um, because your leader is set over you to guide you and to lead you in the right direction. Yes. Um, and so it is okay if you go to your leader and say, Bishop or pastor, you know, I met this gentleman and I really love him. And I want you to tell me, you know, talk to him and see if you can, um, on my behalf, intercede and see what God is saying about this union. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But then no, if you're really coming out of church, you have four men. Yes. You have a serious problem. You need to really talk to God. Yes. You have a problem. Your old man need to die. The old man. Once you're in Christ, you're a new creature. Yes. All the things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Things you used to do, you don't do it no more. Places you used to go, you don't go there no more. Everything is changed. And so... The thing about it with church in Costa Rica, some leader no 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 really endorse the fact that people in the church need partners. You know, everybody need a partner. Everyone needs a partner. Everybody need a partner. And for some church, you have a partner. The, the, this is how God made us. Yes. Right. And so, what we need to do, what I tell the people in my church, I say, listen. If you meet somebody and you desire for this man or this woman to be your partner for life, to get married and so on and so forth, yeah. ask God if this is the right person for you. He will answer you. Yes. You understand? Yes. I believe so. He will answer the Lord you. in prayer. <clears throat> yes. Ask God if this is the right person for you. Trust me, you're going to get an answer. You don't get the answer for yourself. Talk with your leader. Okay. Ask your leader to intercede on your behalf. The answer will come. Yes. I believe. So there is nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong. Like Brittany. And they say, press me, I need a partner. Who? Camilla Candy. Um... <clears throat> Yes, so I will pray for you, sweetheart. I will pray for you, but I hear in my spirit that there is something that you you have to let go of before you receive this partner. There is something about your personality. Oh, bless God. There is something about your personality that you have to let go of before Mr. Wright comes along. You have not met him yet. All right. But he is coming. 
the Lord has him prepared for you. You have not met him as yet. But he's coming. Uh -huh. But God is going to mold you in a certain fashion. He's going to fashion your clay that when that man enters your life, there is no turning back. There is something about you, uh, Candy, that you have to let go before you meet your husband. It has to leave you. And has to leave you. And so, um, Bishop, I will just come. Um, I just want to say that um, as child of God, I think that when you have faith, you live simple. When you have faith. <laughs> yes. When you have faith. Faith. Yes. Because <clears throat> people out there will live by faith, you know, and they're just so humble. They just tell themselves, listen, I have faith, and I have faith in whatever it is. If it's a job, them just have faith in knowing that, listen, God is going to come through for me, and I'm going to get that job. And so they let nothing bother them. No. Listen all. <clears throat> faith, as according to the Bible, is a substance of things hoped for. Yes. The evidence of things not seen. Yes. The Bible also says faith without works yes. is dead. Yes. Now, what do we have faith about? It all depends on what you lift your faith about. So, I will lift my faith for a job. Yeah. I lift my <clears throat> What am I working? Because faith without works is dead. You're right. So am I working to get this job? Or am I just lifting my faith and I go to bed every day? I just sleep, watch TV, eat, get fat, sleep, wake up the next morning and start all over again, doing the same thing every day. Or do I print up some resumes, um, pray over them, um, choose some places that I really, 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 really would love to work. You know, I would really love to be a part of a certain organization. And so I'm going to lift my faith. I'm going to type this application letter and resume, pray over it. And I trust God that once I enter that building under the authority of the Holy Spirit, yeah. that whoever I come in contact with yeah. will... The, favor of God that is upon me will attract person and I will be hired in the name of Jesus. Yes. So, so when we're talking about faith, we have to know in what form. Yes. Because some Christians get it twisted. Faith comes with work. Right. And work <clears throat> come with faith, faith that it is going to be successful. I am working and I lift my faith that I will be successful. I will move from the male room to be in the, the, the CEO of this company someday. Yeah. That's faith. That's faith. You have to be working in order for faith to work. Well, everyone, as we come to a closing, I'm going to ask Bishop to leave us with a word of prayer and a positive uh, message. And so I would want to say once more, please to go over to Bishop Moore Facebook page. You can follow her. You can send her a message on Messenger. And as I said, each and every week she do a feed the program. She feed the elderly and she also feed the homeless. And let me tell you something. I'm not talking about just giving them just about anything. We're talking about giving them palatable food, tasty food. And so if it is in your favor that you want to do a sponsor, she accept rice, she accept flour, she accept sugar whatever it is that you want to donate and she also will accept the cash feel free to do so and bear it in mind that whatever it is that you donate it will directly go to these people i'm a living testimony i know that yes she does do what she says she is going to do because i believe in it when whenever time it is that you have a job or you're on a mission you do what it is that you want to do when you receive it by giving it to the persons who are in need of it. <clears throat> Clothes is acceptable as well. So if it is that you want to provide help her to provide for these elderly people, she do give out diapers to them. She gives them clothes, whatever it is that you have. Feel free to go over to Bishop Moore Facebook page. Follow her. 
like her stuff reach out to her on messenger send her a message you can give a call and you can just do whatever it is that god leads you to do in terms of her ministry by reaching out to the elderly people as well on the street that she needs and so she's going to give us a prayer she's going to ask the lord to bless us all that is here tonight and um, let us just do as she said Susan says we should have a part two. <laughs> yes, definitely, most definitely, I believe so too. Yes, Susan, we are definitely going to have a part two because there are things that we have not yet jumped into and talk about. But as you know, as we go along, yes, we do what we we can tonight. She has answered a whole lot of questions. She has gotten into so many. She talks so much, and I think um before she go, we're supposed to give her one little juice, but not tonight. Just go to the Facebook page and follow her and, and help out with the reading and see how best people need something, anything. Cash is acceptable, rice, sugar flour is acceptable, and diaper and clothing for the elderly people. And yes, definitely. Hi, Kevin Grant. I see that you're just joining. Never too late. You join right on time for a, a word of blessing. Go ahead, Bishop bless the name of jesus when israel out of bondage came a sea before them lay but you lord you reached down your mighty hand and you roll the sea away tonight heavenly father my soul is blessed i thank you lord for your holy spirit that ministered on this program through me Almighty God, through your daughter, Sarika Spencer. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for a peaceful program. I thank you that somebody has been blessed by the word spoken tonight. I thank you, Lord, that somebody has gained strength and is encouraged by the word. Heavenly Father, I pray that as we depart, that you send mighty God angels to be with us. Mighty God, cover us even in our dreams tonight from deceiving spirits. Mighty God, help us to be victorious over every plot and plan of the enemy. Father, I ask for a special covering. Almighty God, protect us in our going out and in our coming in. Father, the time is so evil, and so we ask you never to leave us nor forsake us. Thank you, Almighty God, for giving us wisdom to fight spiritual warfare. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you will cause your Holy Spirit to minister to us, Mighty God, to teach us the direction in which to go. Mighty God, as for the viewers on this program, Oh God, you know everyone by name and you know them by number. You know their wants and you know their needs. I pray tonight, mighty God, that you have your way in their life. I pray that you attend unto their cry. Somebody is in need of a blessing. Somebody is in need of breakthrough. Somebody is in need, mighty God, of a deliverance. I pray, God Almighty, that you attend unto their cry. I pray, God Almighty, that you intervene in every situation. Oh God Almighty, that needs faith sin. I pray that you open doors so your people that no man can shut and shut the doors to destruction which the enemy has opened unto your people in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, tonight I send confusion in the enemy's camp. Oh God, I pray tonight that the enemies fight amongst themselves. I pray tonight that their plus and plan for our life become null and void. I pray that it become nothing tonight in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, because tonight you grant us victory oh god almighty tonight you will cause our light to shine in every dark situation mighty god cover sarika spencer mighty god you know her heart you know her desires oh father you know where she wants to go i pray that you'll continue to lead her continue to bless her mighty god oh father bless her with open doors oh god open up opportunities opportunities unto your daughter tonight oh father god order her footsteps mighty god in your word keep her rooted and grounded oh father keep her encouraged mighty god as she go on mighty god from one level to the next level i pray that you strengthen her for every level mighty god comfort her and grant her peace of mind heavenly father protect her viewers mighty god from shame and disgrace protect them lord god almighty from wants and needs 
need. Oh God, tonight, eko shato rababa sata, makuraba saya. If there is somebody watching that is sick, then I pray that you send Raphael to give them that healing injection in the name of Jesus. And as I speak, I pray that this individual that is watching this program receive healing now. Oh God, I bind pain in the belly. Oh God, I cancel cataract in the eye. Oh God, I come against diabetes. I come against blood pressure. I come against stress. I come against frustration. Mighty God, fill your food basket, Lord. Never let it go empty. Never mighty God. Rababa In the name of Jesus, mighty God. Never let their children go home hungry. Never let them beg for bread. Tonight, God, I put everyone entirely in your care and I ask you that your will be done here tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. God is worthy. He is wonderful. He is awesome. He is worthy of our praise. There is none like him. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. His works it's much less. Yeah. None can contest him. And so people just trust God and live. Trust God and live and just have that connection with God. Talk to him. Yes. Talk to him. Yes. And he will answer you. God bless you. Thank you for having me. Thank you each and everyone for tuning in. Thank you for being a part of this live. Thank you guys so much. Please remember to like, share, leave a comment. And you know my favorite part of the program, I like to tell all, each and every one, share this program, share it, share it, share it, and just continue sharing it. Share it to a friend and tell that friend to share it to another friend. Please do so, and that's my favorite part. Share it, share it, share it. And listen, based upon this program being so beautifully done tonight, it's possible that I may have a part two. Thank you all for tuning in and listening to the word of God. And as I said, please go over there and follow Bishop Moore. Bishop Nadine Moore. Um, Moore. Follow her. Go over to our Facebook Messenger. Reach out to her. She do prayer as well. She is doing an outreach program where she feeds the elderly people, the poor and needy on the street. She accepts stuff, rice, sugar, flour, and cash is acceptable as well. She do what she says she's going to do. Please reach out. Hi, my brother. I see you over there from Zambia and Africa. Good night. You're reaching on the program just a little bit late, but nevertheless, please to watch it, share it, like, leave a comment. Love you guys. Bishop Moore, thank you very much for coming over. I really appreciate you. You're looking fabulous. Thank, thank you Sarika. for doing the work of God and may the Lord continue to bless you and keep you in all your ways. God bless you too. Bishop, so have a good night. Have a good night. Bye everyone. Catch you next time. Yes. <laughs>